the grinder. Hi, and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Tessa, and today we're gonna do a little outfit video inspired by these knee-high boots. They're from Shoots, I'll link them below. And basically, basically I just feel like knee-high boots are, they can be really hard to style. So I thought of like five or six outfits. Obviously you don't have to wear them with knee-high boots, you can interchange them with other boots, chunky boots, sneakers, whatever. But I thought I would just put some outfits together and let me know what you think. Obviously, if it's still available, I'm gonna link it down below. Some of the items, like actually this shirt right here, this is really old Aritzia, so some of them won't be available, so I'll just let you know either way. Um, but let's get started. Okay, first and foremost, I just wanna apologize for the big TV. Honestly, this is the area in my entire apartment right now that has the best lighting, so to show the whole outfit, that's what we're working with. So for this outfit, like I said, this is an old Aritzia top. I feel like you can find really cute puffy sleeve or big shoulder pad type tops right now. And, um, th and then a flared pant, also from Aritzia. I'm gonna show you two ways to wear it because I think that you can leave the flare out and then also tuck the flare in. So let me show you. Okay, also, you can tuck them in. I think that this actually looks really cute, kind of piratey. I don't know why I like outfits that happen to be pirate looking, but it looks really cute either way. And I think you could wear this pant with like crop top, big jacket, big blazer, something like that, but I'll show you. Okay, for this second look, I chose two items that you probably already have variations of this in your closet. The first one is a shacket. This one is from Aritzia. They actually still have this one that's really good. And then a pair of old jean shorts. Thrift these, get them whatever fit you want. Um, and then slip back. I also thought it would be cute though, with like a baseball hat. I don't know, if you're dressing it down. Here is the look. That one's probably one of my favorites because it's one of the easiest. Coffee break. Okay, I think this is outfit number three. This is what I would call my Carrie Bradshaw inspired outfit. This is an old men's Zara blazer, but I feel like everybody at this point probably has a black blazer in their wardrobe. The dress, you guys, I don't even know why I still have this. This is an old bodycon dress, like, like so tight but the only reason why I kept it is because I was like you know what someday when I get pregnant it's probably gonna be pretty cute but I've had it for like five years I don't know why I'm still holding on to it but for occasions like this I think it's very good I actually think this is the perfect hair for it like slick back kind of natural face maybe it would be good with like a bold lip but blazer bodycon boots Okay, out of any of the outfits, I have to say this one feels the most like me. Maybe because I'm wearing my beloved blazer. This is Aritzia as well. Um, this dress is brand new Zara. I'll link it below. <clears throat> it's floor length for me. For high reference, I'm 5'4", so it's pretty much floor length for me. It's pretty sheer, so I'm gonna holla at Kim Kardashian and try to get some skims for underneath this because um, all of my shapewear Stuff is black so not gonna work for this but um, I love the long dress silhouette with the boots I think it looks so good so clean and don't mind me I'm, I'm squatting to be in the frame and um, this actually would be so good because if you live in a colder climate bundle with scarf this also be cute with a beanie and then you could wear tights or whatever underneath and stay really warm so I'll show you the whole look
All right, I've lost count of what number look this is, but this top and skirt are both Zara. Current, I just got them in the mail yesterday. This sweater is like a prep dream. And I feel like the quarter zip thing is really in right now. It's hilarious because for years I have teased David. He has worn the same Columbia quarter zip and now it's trendy. So he's definitely proved me wrong. Um, but this is like so cozy. I got it a size up, but it, it feels right. It feels like a little oversized. The skirt, however, you guys, if this is too small, don't clown on me. I sized up and this thing is still, she's, she's really tight. But the whole reason why I even got this skirt is for the boots. So it was supposed to complete the look. So don't clown on me too hard if it's too tight. But I think it might work for this in particular. I just will have to be careful not to make any sudden movements. Also, I never know how to say her name, but if you know the queen, Matilda Jerf, I think it is. Um, she's an influencer that also has her own brand and she is goals. She has the cutest variation of a skirt like this. I'm just waiting for it to come back in black because I think it's available in gray right now, but it's this and I actually really like her sizing, so I might have to swap this. But if you do get this skirt, because this color is very cute, Go at least one size up and feel very confident about yourself. All right, y'all, this is the last look and this is the coziest look. So this is like my beloved little bubble sweater. This is old, but you can find things like it now. Also, everybody has their own favorite cardigans. So I did this, a little button up. I've worn this before, a little glasses tank top. And then these pants I actually just got from Zara too. They're kind of like a mint pistachio color. Definitely true to size, and I thought this would be good for colder climates. You can wear layers underneath. You can put a big puffer or a, just a big wool coat over this, and it looks effortless, chic, but loungy, comfortable. All right, I put back on my favorite look, this blazer, that's my favorite, and this dress, that's what I'm gonna wear today. And honestly, oh, there's the pile of clothes. Um, honestly, I, I kind of got in a workout. I'm like, oh, I'm a little clam from that. But it was worth it because clothes are the best thing to me. Like I said before, all of these things, if they are available, will be linked below. I'll try to find similar items if they're not available but I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to find some of them. I will do my best. I hope you liked this video. The styling videos are so fun. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you again so much for watching. And if you like this video, I hope that you'll subscribe, like, comment. Comments are my are my fave. I'm looking out for the, for the comments. So I love you guys, and I will see you back soon for another weekly vlog.